Man, what are you doing? Crazy cat, what are you doing? No. You are not the trading card. You don't go up there. As soon as I hit record, she starts doing this. Just a little ham. Hey everyone, I'm Chase. This is TCG Ball Kings, where every card has value. And I wanted to talk a little bit today about customer service, customer interactions, that kind of thing. Um, I've been seeing some more chatter again lately about people worried about fraud or getting scammed. And I've had three recent interactions like in the last week or so that, you know, a different viewpoint might have made me think, am I getting scammed? Am I, is this something bad that's going on here? And I may have responded differently than I actually do respond now. So I wanted to go ahead and talk about that a little bit. If you may remember from my video a couple, maybe three weeks ago now, the 18 ways to ruin your trading card business. Maya, get down. <laughs> You're laughing at me. Don't do that. You may remember from a few weeks ago, a video I made about ways you can ruin your trading card business. And one of the ways that I had was to not ever take accountability for customer service issues and to lay the blame on the customer instead. With that in mind, I'm just going to jump into these three different customer interaction stories that I have. So the first one uh, started a couple of weeks ago. Um, they messaged me the simple message, I have not received my card. That's all it says. So I looked in the order and it was still several days before the expected delivery date. Now that number is the date that TCG player generates from a sale saying, hey, we recognize the postal service is slow sometimes. This is the point at which it reasonably should have reached the customer, after which if they haven't left feedback, you will get paid for your card. Like I said, this was still several days before that. So I have a form letter uh, that I keep in my head basically. I used to have it written down uh, to copy and paste, but um, I've since lost that original doc. You know, I, I just type it out from memory in about 30 seconds, and basically to the effect of, hey, I'm sorry you haven't received your order. It was sent the day after you placed your order. Um, we haven't received it back, so hopefully the postal service is just being slow about it. Because TCG Player recognizes that they are sometimes slow, they have an expected delivery date of this. If you haven't received it by the end of day of that day, then we will uh, see what we can do from there to take care of you. Keep an eye out for it. Um, and then apologize that it hasn't reached them yet because obviously they're already feeling kind of bad that it hasn't gotten there. So then they messaged me again uh, about 10 days after that, several days after the expected delivery date. It says, hey, I still haven't received the card. How do we move forward? So at this point, you know, I'm looking at the order. This is one of the most expensive orders that I sent out via plain white envelope over the last month. It's a $15 card. It's a, um, for those interested, it's a, a borderless art steam vents from uh, Ravnica Remastered. Some people might say, hey, this is the most expensive card I sent out in this manner that isn't tracked in the last month or two. It's the only one I've been reached out to saying it's not arrived. Are they just lying and they say they haven't received it? That's gonna go through anybody's head, but which is more likely that I've sent a card to the one person who's a scammer because I've literally had zero attempts to scam me in this way over the last several years, or there's actually an issue with the postal service. My mindset here is to give the customer the benefit of the doubt, not lay the blame at their feet because TCG player is going to side with them anyway on this. It's not tracked and it's beyond the delivery date. They're going to give them a refund and I'm going to give them bad experience with me if I choose to push back against it. I'm not reacting this way just because the punishment would be a problem for me, the negative feedback. It's a, a mindset thing. I can live my life as if it's me versus all the customers I'm trying to serve and, and sell to or I can live my life as if we're, I'm on the same side as them, trying to get them stuff and we're teamed up against everything in between me getting the card into their hands. I My response to that was say, hey, I, I'm so sorry you haven't received it. Um, it looks like we'll have to chalk it up to having been lost in handling by the postal service. I don't have another copy, so I'm gonna give you your money back. Keep an eye out for it. Sometimes they still show up. 
So I went ahead and processed that refund. I don't like having to do 15 plus dollar refunds, but that's what you got to do in that situation. And then a couple of days ago, got the card back. It was, it wasn't my fault. The packaging was fine, but the uh, address apparently on the envelope was misprovided by the customer and it, uh, so they couldn't deliver it. So it did end up showing up as an undeliverable order they legitimately hadn't received it obviously because i've got it back definitely they weren't trying to scam me so i i could have gone into that feeling really bad feeling really negative feeling upset not having spent all that energy being upset about it eventually served me because it, it, i got the card back so i'm not out the money and uh the customers got their money back so they're not out the money and nobody's had a negative experience my uh the second one is a similar issue, a plain white envelope mailed out. It's actually just up the road here, a couple hours away uh, to the where the customer is at instead of all the way across country like the last one. Um, again, they, they didn't reach out until after the expected delivery date, but they haven't received it. I haven't received it back yet. This one was sent later, so if it's an issue with the address or something like that, or, or a return to sender for some reason, I may get it back in the next couple of days. But again, I went ahead and refunded their money because they have not received their items. And this one was a $10 order. It has a, a Blood Moon from Chronicles and a couple other cheap cards in it. It's it's weird that it never made it to them. But again, maybe there's an issue with the pay, with the customer's address or, or something like that. Sometimes they forget to put apartment numbers in, crazy stuff like that. Sometimes um, something happens to the envelope and the address gets damaged or wiped off or something like that in transit and it eventually makes it back to me or even if it doesn't make it anywhere. Sometimes stuff just gets lost. If they don't get it, they should get their money back. That's the way I, I see it. They didn't pay to get nothing. They paid to get cards. Uh, the risk should fall on me as the seller to get the cards to them. So again, I went ahead and refunded their money and no negative experience on their part. Hopefully I'll get those cards back, but if I don't, you know, I'll be able to handle it. The final interaction I wanted to go into is a little bit different. This was uh, someone who placed an order through TCG Player uh, for like eight or nine Pokemon cards, reached out to me after they placed their order and say, hey, I just left an I placed an order with you, but I left out a card. Is there any way you can add it to my order? Now there's not really any way to do that. It's not like you can't add another card onto an order. I could take it I could find the card and pull it out and change my inventory and put it in. But I, you know, the way they, they phrased it, it didn't even occur to me to think, can I give this to them as a freebie? I thought I don't have a way to like make it add to the order so that you can pay for it. Why don't you just place another order for it and I'll refund the uh, shipping charge that would incur from it. And I'll put, I'll combine them into one order, right? So that's, that's serving the customer. That's that's them getting what they wanted. They wanted to pay for the card, and they, but they wanted it to be in the same order, right? Um, so uh, they just declined that and said, "Hey, thanks. No, just ship it as normal." In that case, if I feel like you know maybe they were just asking for a free card because they easily could have paid the what twelve cents plus the ninety nine cents for shipping and gotten their ninety nine cents refunded back to them and had that card and again it didn't even occur to me to just drop it in for free at the time they were they were trying to add it onto the order so going back and thinking about it could I have processed it with a and just given them the extra card I I might have but I'm not even sure that I have that had that card at the time because they uh, <clears throat> they didn't check the inventory they didn't try and place an order for it or anything like that but the point is i offered the the customer a solution that i didn't have to do i could have just said no and said place another order if you want it i could have just uh and then sent two envelopes or put them together in one envelope and pocketed the extra shipping money or anything like that i offered them a solution that got them to where they wanted to be if they just added that card onto the order and they declined it so I don't feel like I did a negative experience there or anything like that. If they're not a, if they're not okay with that, then I'm not sure. Ultimately, other than just giving them free cards because they asked for free cards, I'm not sure what I could have done for them. So if you have any stories, uh, any customer service stories like that, that uh, worked out for you in the end, or if you have any stories where you've reacted negatively and you uh, 
regretted it later because it didn't turn out that you were being scammed or anything like that feel free to comment down below i'd love to hear that kind of stuff give this video a like if you feel like this is a good mindset to have going forward and uh, subscribe subscribe if you want to see more if you like this video, you'll probably like uh, the video where I did all those ways to ruin your business ideas. I've got that one posted right up here for you. Or if you look at this one on this side, then uh, it's probably something else will be super interesting for you.